Find a comfortable seat with your legs crossed. If your hips feel tired, you can sit up on a block or a blanket or a pillow. When you elevate your seat, it will allow your body to soften and open and your knees will be more leveled with your hips. Take your hands to your inner thighs and turn them in and back, lifting the flesh of your sit bones up and behind. Like this, you can feel your lower back opening and it will help you to find more length in your spine. So as you feel your sit bones rooting down into the earth, lengthen your spine, feel your upper body floating up and away from your pelvis. Lift the shoulders up, lengthen your side body. Now take them back and then let the shoulder blades melt down on your back. You feel a lift in your chest. Make sure you're not popping the ribs forward. So keep the chest lifted and just breathe into your heart. Keep your back body full and the navel is constantly drawing in towards the spine. Keep your eyes closed. Your face is soft. Relax the space between your eyebrows. Relax your jaw. For the next few moments, bring all your awareness into your body and to your breath. Enjoy your natural breath. Try not to change it or manipulate it. Just welcome it as it is. Let the breath be like the waves of the ocean, coming and going softly, creating nourishment and opening in your body. We're always working with two opposing energies. In this case, when you breathe, you feel the expansion and you feel contraction. With every inhale, feel the expansion of your chest, feel the opening, it's like blowing up a balloon. And then with every exhale, feel the contraction. Draw into your core, letting go, keep breathing. Now take your hands together in front of your heart and silently chant the universal sound OM three times. Or maybe you want to use this moment to set an intention for your practice which can be very powerful. It's a beautiful way to center yourself before you start your asana practice. And then slowly open your eyes. Inhale, reach your arms over your head, stretching your side body nice and long. As you exhale, gently fold forward. Reach your sit bones down to your heels, but lengthen through the fingertips. Breathe into your back body. Think of your breath as the creator of space and nourishment. We call the breath prana, which means life force. So fill your body with your prana. And then come all the way back up. Bring your toes together, keep your knees wide and lengthen forward into child's pose. And then slowly walk your hands all the way back and over to the left side. As you stretch your right side body nice and long, keep reaching your right sit bone down and lengthen through both arms. Breathing into your right side. Feel the ribs expanding. Nice stretch. Inhale, come all the way back up. Walk your hands all the way over to the right now. And then keep reaching your left sit bone down towards your left heel. And breathe into your left side. Feel the expansion of your ribs. Nice, long, deep breath. And release, come back into the middle. Place your hands. And then tucking your toes, your hips over your knees, and then as you inhale, drop your belly. As you exhale, round your spine, cat cow pose. Inhale again, arching, draw the shoulders away from your ears, lift your head. As you exhale, round, draw the belly in. Inhaling, arching. 
Now as you exhale, lift up and back into downward facing dog. Keep pressing your hands into the floor, bend the right knee, left heel is pressing down into the floor. Breathe into your left leg. And then switch. Bend the left knee, press the right heel down. Breathing deeply, face is soft. Both legs long, bend your knees, reach your belly towards your thighs. Take your butt all the way up into the sky. Feel a good stretch here. And then straighten your legs all the way back. Lift your right leg up into the sky, high, and bend the knee, open your right side. Keep pressing evenly into both hands. And then step your right foot all the way forward. And bring your right arm up into the sky, left fingertips pressing into the floor. Square your hips, keep reaching back through the left here. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Step your right foot back. Bring your left leg up into the sky, reaching long. Open your hip, bend the knee. Good, and then step your left foot all the way forward, underneath your knee. Square your hips, float your left arm all the way up into the sky. Open your heart, lean back, bring your head back. Beautiful. Like offering your practice to the sky, exhale, release your hand to the floor and step your right foot forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold forward. And then inhale, reach your arms all the way up, standing nice and tall, hands to your heart. So your namaskar A, inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward and down, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift your heart as you exhale, step, walk or jump back. Come forward into plank pose, draw the belly in, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhaling into upward facing dog. Exhale, back into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Keep your legs super strong, keep pressing into your hands. There's an energy rooting down from your hands into the earth and then an energy drawing up through your arms into your pelvis. Feel your back nice and long, face is soft. Bend your knees, look towards your hands, jump, step or walk forward. Lengthening as you exhale, fold back down. Inhale, press into your feet, float your arms over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, spread your wings, lift your arms up as you exhale, fold forward and down, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, step, walk or jump back. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhaling forward and up into cobra or upward facing dog. Exhaling back, downward dog. This is your modification for Chaturanga. So feel free to choose between Knees, chest and chin, or Chaturanga. Bend your knees, step, walk or jump forward. Inhale, lengthening. As you exhale, fall back down. Press into your feet, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach your arms over your head, standing nice and tall. As you exhale, fold forward and down, Uttanasana. <laughs> Inhale, lengthen, lift your heart. Exhale, step, walk or jump back. Come forward into plank pose, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhaling into upward dog as you exhale, back into downward facing dog. Breathe here. Bend your knees, step, walk or jump forward. Lifting your heart as you exhale, fold back down. Inhale, spread your wings, reach your arms all the way up, standing tall. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach your arms over your head, standing tall. Exhale, fold forward, move with your breath. Inhale, lengthen, lift your heart. Exhale, step your feet back. Come forward and once again lower down Chaturanga. 
As you exhale, lift up and back into Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Breathing here, remember your face is soft, let go of any tension. Go deeper with every breath. Bend your knees, step or walk forward. Lengthen as you inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms out and over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, lengthen, lift up. Exhale with a long back, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, step your right foot back, take your heel to the floor and float your arms up into Virabhadrasana 1, Warrior 1. Reach through the fingertips, front knees over the anchor, lift the belly in and up, open your heart. Exhale, open into Warrior 2. Keep your front knee bent. Beautiful. From here, release your right hand. Lift your left arm up and back into Proud Warrior. Breathing here. Lengthen your left side. Drop your left thigh a little bit more. Inhale, come up. Take your elbow onto your knee. Reach your right arm towards the ocean. Reach your right arm long. And then inhale, come back up and back into Proud Warrior. Flow with your breath on your next breath. Inhale, come back up. And then take your left hand inside your left foot and reach your right shoulder up and back. And then float your right arm up into the sky. Roll your left arm out against your knee. Keep pressing into your right heel to create a resistance for more opening. And then draw the shoulder back into the socket to extend the arm over your head, which is optional. So see where you are in your practice today. Release your hands to the floor. Step your left foot back. Come forward, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhaling forward and up. Exhaling back, down dog. Step your right foot forward, left heel down. Reach your arms up. Keep grounding through the left heel. So again, your legs are strong and supporting you. Your upper body floats freely up and away from your pelvis. With an exhale, open into warrior two. Look over your front fingers, let the shoulders melt. On your next breath, come into proud warrior, floating your right arm up and back. Keep your legs strong and supporting. Inhale, come up, take your right elbow onto your knee and reach your left arm over your head, stretching long. Keep rooting through the left heel. Open your heart a little bit more up towards the sky. Inhale, coming up, back into Proud Warrior. And then from here, with your next breath, come up and take your right hand inside your right foot. Roll your arm out against your knee. Take the shoulder back and then bring your left arm up into the sky. Lean your head back. Beautiful. Scoop your right hip under. Shoulder back. Yes, open even more. And then release your hand to the floor and step your right foot back. Come forward into plank pose, lower down, Chaturanga. Move through the vinyasa as you exhale, come back into down dog. Breathing here, find the softness. Bend the knees, step your feet forward. Lengthen as you inhale, exhale, fold deeply. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. Exhale, release your hands. Namaste. Inhale, reach your arms all the way back up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, step only your right foot back and bring your arms up for warrior one. Let the shoulders melt and come into warrior two. Interlacing your hands, lift your heart as you inhale. 
exhale press into your right foot and then lean forward lift your arms over your head drop your left thigh even more breathing deeply from here release your hands inside your left foot square your hips lift the left right heel off the floor and turn your left toes out to the side keep the hip lifted and the thigh walk your hands forward push the floor away find length if you can you can drop your elbows down to the floor keep the thigh active and the heel reaching back melt the heart keep looking forward breathe from here drop your right knee walk your hands back and take your left hand against your left knee as if you want to push the knee away open your heart and twist towards the sky stay here or maybe bend your right knee and take a hold of the little toe side of your right foot and go deeper into the twist as you add a stretch for your thigh and then release tuck the toes step your left foot back come forward and move through the vinyasa other side as you inhale step your right foot forward left heel down arms up for warrior one as you exhale float into warrior two interlace your hands behind your back inhale lift your heart as you exhale press into the foot and fold forward lift your arms drop your right thigh even more keep looking ahead of your foot keeping the back nice and long shoulder blades together release your hands square your hips so come onto the toes of your left foot lift the hip and the thigh and then walk your hands forward find length first and then come down onto your elbows if that's available to you keep your back leg strong don't let the thigh drop towards the floor good melt your heart walk your hands back left knee to the floor with your right hand push the right knee away open your heart towards the sky lean the head back if you like grab the little toe side of your left foot and come a little deeper into the twist release tucking your toes swing your right leg back and move through the vinyasa inhaling shoulders over your wrists exhaling back down with facing dog breathe here bend the knees step or walk forward and then opening your feet about hip distance take a hold of your big toes yogi toe lock inhale lengthen exhale bend your elbows deeply and fold keep pressing into your feet lengthen your sit bones up into the sky feel the stretch in the back of your legs and then release the toes inhale reach your arms up exhale hands to your heart take your hands onto your waist standing tall take your right knee into your chest out to the side and place the foot against your thigh standing tall bring your arms all the way up out to the side let the shoulders melt faces soft tree pose breathing here keep pressing your foot into your thigh and your thigh back into your foot inhale reach your arms back up bring your right knee forward as you exhale take the right leg all the way back keep the leg engaged flex the foot coming into warrior three either keep your hands in front of your heart or take them out to the sides for more balance then bend your front knee step your right foot back inhaling all the way up into warrior one exhaling into warrior two now straighten your front leg reach forward and come into trikonasana triangle pose breathing deeply and then 
coming back up. Bring your left hand forward and float your right leg up into the sky. Keep the leg engaged, flex the foot coming into Ardha Chandrasana half moon pose. Float your right arm up into the sky. Breathing here. Then step all the way back into Warrior Two. Inhaling into Proud Warrior and then exhaling your hands to the floor. Step your left foot back, come forward into Plank Pose and lower down Chaturanga. Exhaling back into Downward Facing Dog. Breathe here. Bend your knees, walk, step or jump forward. Inhale, lengthening, exhale, fold. Press into your feet, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take your hands back onto your waist, shift side. Bring your left knee into your chest, out to the side and place the foot to the inside of your right leg. Palms together. When you feel strong and balanced, reach your arms up, exhale, out to the side, tree pose. Keep pressing your left knee or your left foot into your right thigh, standing like a strong. Inhale, reach your arms up, bring your left knee forward, keep the leg engaged as you reach back into warrior three. Maybe take your arms out to the side or keep your hands next to your body. And then step back into warrior one, exhaling into warrior two. Now straighten the front leg, lengthen and come into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Now take your hand onto your waist, look down at your right foot and float your left leg up into the sky for Ardha Chandrasana. Keep the foot flexed, spread the toes, leg is engaged and then take your left arm up. See if you can scoop your tailbone under a little bit more. Very nice. And then step back and float your arms up into warrior two. As you inhale, back into Proud Warrior. As you exhale, card with your hands to the floor, step your foot back and come forward into Plank Pose. Press your legs together, roll onto the out edge of your left foot and reach your right arm up into the sky. Open your heart. And then release and roll over and move through the vinyasa. Exhaling back into down dog. On your next inhale, come forward, press into your fingertips, into your knuckles, roll onto the out edge of your right foot and bring your left arm up into the sky. Keep your heart open, squeeze the legs together, keep the hips lifted. One more breath, exhale, release. And come forward, move through the vinyasa. Upward facing dog, exhaling back into downward facing dog. And walk your feet forward and come into a squat. Palms together, press your arms out against your knees to find more length in your spine. Press the palms towards the floor, lift up, breathe. Take your right hand out to the side and float your left arm up into the sky. And then switch. Take your left arm out to the sky, side and your right arm up into the sky. Heart opens. Place your hands in front of you, bring your feet together and then step your feet back 
and forward and move through another vinyasa. Exhaling back, downward facing dog. Now bring your left leg up into the sky and take your knee outside of your left wrist for pigeon pose. Keep your right leg long and in one line with your hip, walk your hands back. Take the flesh from your sit bone out to the side and then roll your right hip forward, left hip back. Inhale, open your heart as you exhale with a long back fold forward and rest here. Energetically, keep moving your left hip back and your right hip forward. Breathing deeply. And sink deeper into the pose with every breath. Notice what resistance comes up for you and breathe through it. And walk your hands back. Walk your hands all the way over to the right. Keep reaching your hip out to the left as you fold over the foot. The foot is kind of in the middle of your chest. Keep reaching your hip out to the left. And slowly come back. Walk your hands into the middle. And then, if you like, come into the twist. Bring your right shoulder to the floor. And then your left palm on top. Draw the left shoulder back as you twist. And then coming back into the middle. Bend your right knee. Take hold of your right foot. Energetically hug the knees towards each other. You feel a lift in your pelvic floor. And then as you keep hugging your knees towards each other, maybe you can bring your left arm all the way up into the sky. Beautiful. And release. Very good. Tuck your right toes under. And then swing your left leg all the way up into the sky. Release. Now bring your right leg up into the sky. Shake it out and take the knee to the outside of your wrist. Walk your hands back, find the length, adjust your hips. So right hip keeps moving back, left hip keeps moving forward. Maybe use your hands for support. Once you feel your hips square, inhale, lengthen, and then slowly walk your hands forward and come into pigeon. Again, use your breath to take you deeper. Notice how your mind wants to take you on a journey, but stay with the sensations in your body. Breathe through them. And then walk your hands back. Beautiful. Walk your hands all the way over to the left. Keep your right hip reaching out to the right as you fold over the foot. Again, two energies moving in opposing directions. Hip is moving to the right, heart is reaching towards the left. Breathe into the stretch. And then release, come back to the middle. And add your twist. So now you want to take your left shoulder to the floor and your right palm on top of your left palm and then drawing your right shoulder back into the socket. A deeper stretch. And release. Walking your hands back. Now bending your left knee. Take hold of your left foot. Reach your foot towards your buttock, but keep hugging the knees energetically towards each other. This is really important to give you more strength and then maybe take your right arm up into the sky or just keep your hand on the knee. And then from here release and swing your legs forward. Let it go, shake them out. Come to lie on your back, hug your knees into your chest. Just 
just rolling a little bit back and forth. And then take the soles of your feet together, let your knees fall out to the side, Supta Baddha Kanasana. A few moments here to just breathe deeply. We always need to find moments in our practice where we can just practice surrendering and letting go. Stay with your breath. Together, place your feet about hip distance underneath your knees, pointing straight forward, bend your elbows, find a little curve in your spine and then press the uh, elbows and shoulders down and feel how that lifts your chest. Keep the shoulders pressing down, press into your feet and then lift your hips all the way up, interlace your hands, draw the shoulder blades closer together and keep pressing into your feet to lift the hips all the way up. It's so really important here not to squeeze the buttocks. So let the buttocks go. And we will open and free your lower back. And lift your chest towards your shin. Keep the back of your neck nice and long. Keep pressing into your feet as you slowly come back down. Take your arms over your head and then move your knees left and right like windshield wipers, releasing your lower back. Stay with bridge pose or you can move on into the full wheel Udvadhanarasana if that's available to you. Come on to the top of your head, shoulders back into the sockets and then push up on an exhale. Make sure your feet are pointing straight forward. Good. Beautiful. Breathe. And then slowly come back down, chin to your chest. Stretch your arms over your head, move your knees left and right, releasing your lower back. And again, yogi's choice. You can stay with another bridge pose or come into another wheel. Keeping your feet parallel, place your hands underneath your shoulders. Make sure you keep the shoulders plugging in into the socket. Come onto the top of your head first, shoulders back, and then push up into full wheel, lift from your heart, breathe, keep pressing into your feet and then slowly come back down, chin to your chest, very good, arms over your head and move your knees left and right, right and left. And hug your knees into your chest, massaging your lower back. Come all the way up to sit. And we'll work a little bit on our abdominals. Coming into boat pose, Navasana. So bend your knees, feel the sit bones rooting down. A couple of stages, you can lift your knees with your arms, stage one. You can stretch your arms long, draw the belly in, stage two, and maybe even straighten your legs for stage three. Don't compromise with your lower back. Keep the belly reaching in and count your breath. Keep reaching through the toes, lift the heart. Beautiful. And then bend the knees, straighten your back. So hug your knees in towards your heart releasing your lower back. Okay, shake out your legs, bend your right knee and place your right foot outside of your left knee. Both sit bones on the floor, you can sit on a block if that's more comfortable. Find the length in your spine, take your right hand behind, press into the fingertips to lift up, left arm reaches up as you exhale, twist. Press your left elbow into your knee and look over your right shoulder. Find the softness here, let the twist come from the inside, from your organs. Shoulders are melting down. The more you press your elbow into the knee, the more you can lengthen up. Lean the head back, breathe. And then release, bring your hands to the other side for a counter twist. 
come back to the front and switch legs left foot outside of your right knee sitting nice and tall bring your left fingertips behind sit nice and tall right arm reaches up as you exhale twist and look over your left shoulder remember to keep the spine nice and long and the shoulders soft face soft as every breath go a little deeper Swing your arms over to the other side, counter twist. As you inhale, release, come back to the middle and straighten the legs. Good. Sitting nice and tall, inner spiral your legs. Lift the flesh out from underneath. So your back becomes nice and tall. You can bend your knees first. Maybe sit on a block and then walk your hands forward and just fold into Pashimottanasana, seated forward fold. With every breath you can inhale and lengthen and then exhale, go a little deeper. Draw the shoulders back, let the heart come forward. Breathe, let every breath take you deeper. Falling forward to yourself. And release. Come all the way back up. And then slowly come to lie in Shavasana. So let everything go. Let your arms come out to the side. Release the shoulders. Palms are facing up. Roll your head from side to side. Releasing your neck. Let go of any tension. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, exhale through the mouth. And let everything go. Stay with your breath and enjoy Shavasana.
deepen your breathing. Slowly come back with your awareness into your body. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. And then stretch your arms over your head. And then bend your knees. Put the knees into your chest. Just roll a little bit back and forth, massaging. And then roll onto your right side. Stay here using your arm as a pillow. Breathe, eyes closed. And then use your hands to bring yourself back up into a comfortable seated position. Just sitting nice and comfortable. Chins crossed. Again, feel free to sit on a block and spiral your legs. Keep your eyes closed for just a few more moments. Maybe have your palms face up for a little more energy, or palms facing down for a little more grounding. Let the shoulders melt down. Take a moment here to feel the changes that you created with your practice today. Be grateful to yourself. Take your hands into prayer. And then gently bow to yourself to see your practice. Thank you. Namaste.